Goats and fish might seem like an odd couple, but on a farm they can be the best of friends. This is the beauty of integrated farming. It's about using nature's patterns to help us grow food. Think about it. Goats love to eat weeds and brush. Their waste is actually rich in nutrients. Fish, in turn, need these nutrients to thrive. See how it all connects? By raising goats and fish together, we create a cycle. Waste from one becomes food for the other. This reduces waste and pollution. It's a win-win for the farmer and the environment. Imagine a farm that works with nature, not against it. A farm that produces healthy food while using fewer resources. This is the vision of a self-sustaining, integrated farm. It's about creating a closed loop system. We want to minimize waste by using everything as efficiently as possible. Goat manure fertilizes the fish pond. The water from the fish pond, enriched with nutrients, can then irrigate our pastures. This creates a beautiful balance. Resources are used wisely, the environment is protected and we produce nutritious food in a sustainable way. The first step in creating a successful integrated farm is designing your farm layout. Location is key. You need to carefully consider the topography, soil type and climate of your land. These factors will influence the placement of your pond, goat enclosures and grazing areas. Choose a spot with good drainage for your pond. This is crucial to prevent waterlogging and ensure a healthy environment for your fish. The pond should be situated in a low-lying area where water naturally collects, but it should also have a way to drain excess water. It should also be easily accessible for feeding your goats and managing the pond. Accessibility is important for daily tasks such as feeding, cleaning and monitoring the health of your animals and fish. Make sure there are clear paths and that the layout minimizes the distance you need to travel. Next, create a comfortable and secure goat enclosure. The enclosure should be built with sturdy materials to protect your goats from predators and harsh weather conditions. Consider using materials that are durable and easy to clean. It should provide shade, shelter and plenty of space for grazing. Goats need a shaded area to rest during hot days and a shelter to protect them from rain and wind. The grazing area should be spacious enough to allow them to move freely and graze on fresh grass. Think about rotating their grazing area to prevent overgrazing and promote healthy pasture growth. Rotational grazing involves dividing your pasture into sections and moving your goats from one section to another. This allows the grass in the previously grazed sections to recover and grow back. Now for the fish pond, the size and depth of the pond will depend on the type of fish you plan to raise and the number of goats you have. A well-designed pond will provide a suitable habitat for your fish and help in managing the waste produced by your goats. You can build one or repurpose an existing pond. If you have an old pond on your property, consider converting it into a fish pond. This can save you time and resources. Make sure to clean and prepare the pond properly before introducing fish. Consider its size in relation to your goat herd. The pond should be large enough to handle the waste produced by your goats, which can be used as a natural fertilizer for the pond. This creates a symbiotic relationship between the goats and the fish. A good rule of thumb is to have enough pond surface area to effectively utilize the manure. This not only helps in maintaining water quality, but also promotes the growth of algae and other microorganisms that serve as food for the fish. Properly managing the manure will ensure a healthy and productive integrated farm. Not all goats or fish are created equal. When it comes to integrated farming, the choice of breeds can make or break your system. It's not just about having goats and fish, it's about having the right goats and the right fish that can thrive together in a balanced ecosystem. Choosing the right breeds is crucial for a successful integrated system. Farmers need to be meticulous in their selection process, ensuring that the animals they choose are well suited to their specific environmental conditions and farming goals. For goats, select breeds known for their hardiness, adaptability and good manure production. These traits are essential because hardy goats can withstand various weather conditions and are less prone to diseases, making them easier to manage. Some popular choices include Kiko, which are renowned for their resilience and ability to thrive in diverse environments. Boar, known for their excellent meat production, and Spanish goats, which are highly adaptable and good foragers. For fish, 
Consider tilapia. They are a great option for integrated farms due to their rapid growth and adaptability. Tilapia are particularly well suited for integrated farming systems. They grow quickly, tolerate a wide range of water conditions, and are efficient at converting feed into protein, making them an economical choice for farmers. They grow quickly, tolerate a wide range of water conditions, and are efficient at converting feed into protein. This efficiency means that farmers can produce more fish with less feed, reducing costs and increasing sustainability, and are efficient at converting feed into protein. This makes them an ideal choice for farmers looking to maximize their output while minimizing their input costs. Remember, maintaining balance is key. An integrated farming system relies on the symbiotic relationship between the animals and their environment. The waste produced by the goats can be used to fertilize the fish ponds, creating a natural and efficient nutrient cycle. The size of your goat herd should correspond to the size of your fish pond. This balance ensures that the nutrient load from the goat manure is appropriate for the fish pond, preventing over-fertilization and maintaining water quality. This ensures you have enough nutrients for your fish without overloading the pond's ecosystem. By carefully managing the size of your goat herd and fish pond, you can create a sustainable and productive integrated farming system that benefits both the animals and the environment. Section 5, Nature's Cycle, from waste to resource. In this section, we explore how waste materials, often seen as a burden, can be transformed into valuable resources that benefit the entire ecosystem. Here's where the magic happens. By understanding and utilizing natural processes, we can turn organic waste into something incredibly beneficial. Goat manure, rich in nitrogen and phosphorus, is like gold for your fish pond. These nutrients are essential for the growth of aquatic plants and microorganisms. Instead of seeing it as waste, we use it to fertilize the pond. This not only helps in waste management, but also enhances the productivity of the pond ecosystem. There are a couple of ways to do this. You can either directly add the manure to the pond or set up a composting system that gradually feeds nutrients into the water. You can directly deposit aged manure into the pond. This method is straightforward and ensures that the nutrients are immediately available to the pond ecosystem. Or you can create a composting system that feeds into the pond. This method allows for a more controlled release of nutrients, which can be beneficial for maintaining a balanced ecosystem. This adds nutrients gradually and helps maintain water quality. A well-maintained composting system can provide a steady supply of nutrients without overwhelming the pond. The nutrients in the manure encourage the growth of algae and zooplankton. These tiny organisms are the foundation of the pond's food web. These, in turn, become food for your fish. By promoting the growth of natural food sources, you create a self-sustaining ecosystem. It's a natural food chain that reduces the need for expensive commercial fish feed. This not only saves money, but also ensures that the fish are eating a diet that is closer to what they would find in the wild. By turning waste into a resource, we create a more sustainable and efficient farming system. This approach benefits not just the farm, but the environment as a whole. Embracing nature's cycle allows us to work in harmony with the environment, ensuring that every part of the system supports the other. This is the essence of sustainable farming. Section 6, the bounty of integrated farming. An integrated goat and fish farm offers multiple streams of income. You have your goat herd, which can provide milk, meat and fiber. And you have your fish pond, a source of fresh, sustainably raised protein. But it doesn't stop there. The nutrient-rich water from the fish pond can be used to irrigate your pastures or even to grow vegetables. Imagine the possibilities. By diversifying your farm, you create multiple income streams and increase your resilience. If one market fluctuates, you have others to fall back on. Section 7. Challenges and Solutions Like any farming system, integrated farming comes with its own set of challenges. But don't worry, every problem has a solution. Disease outbreaks can be a concern in both goats and fish. Regular veterinary checkups, vaccination programs and good biosecurity practices are essential for prevention. Predator control is another important aspect. Protect your goats from predators like coyotes and your fish from birds and other wildlife. 
Fencing, netting and guard animals can help. Maintaining good water quality in your fish pond is crucial. Regular monitoring and aeration can prevent problems like low oxygen levels. Section 8 Tips for Sustainable Success Here are a few practical tips for success in integrated goat and fish farming. Start small and gradually scale up your operation as you gain experience. Observe your animals and the ecosystem closely. Make adjustments as needed. Every farm is different. Connect with other integrated farmers. Share knowledge and experiences. Don't be afraid to experiment and find what works best for you. Remember, patience and persistence are key. Integrated farming takes time and effort, but the rewards are well worth it. Section 9. Farming for the Future In a world facing environmental challenges, integrated farming offers a path towards a more sustainable future for agriculture. By mimicking nature's patterns and creating closed-loop systems, we can reduce waste, conserve resources and produce healthy food for our communities. Let's embrace the principles of integrated farming and create a future where farming and nature work in harmony.